the decisive elements of the war between Russia and Ukraine involves conflicts in the aerospace. Initially, the Russian Federation had more powerful air force compared to the Ukrainian armed forces. However, this situation changed as the war progressed, and the successful and courageous operations of the Ukrainian armed forces caused Russia to lose a significant number of air force units. And these losses were heavy air force losses, which had never happened before in Russia's history. Therefore, these blows carried out by the armed forces of Ukraine against the Russian Air Force were extremely important. In recent days, reports have emerged that an Su-27 fighter jet, one of the Russia's Air Force, has crashed in the vicinity of the Crimean Peninsula. Particularly noteworthy is the fact that there were no shots fired from the Ukrainian sources during the downing of the aircraft, and this situation increased the mystery behind the downing of the Russian fighter jet. According to reports, a Russian fighter jet was shot down in the vicinity of the Crimean Peninsula as a result of a successful shot by the Ukrainian air defense system. However, in this case, there was no evidence that Ukraine shut down the aircraft. In this case, the question of who is behind the downing of the Russian fighter jet comes to the mind. So, what are the latest developments regarding this incident? Let's examine it together. As the Pioneer team, we continue to reshare our reports on Russia-Ukraine war. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so as not to miss our daily reports. You can also support me and my hardworking team by using the super thanks button below the videos. Let's start, if you are ready, the Pioneer reports. Well, the Ukrainian armed forces have seriously demoralized the Russian army with their great resistance in the last two years, and the Russian army is worried about the risks of more and more casualties with each passing day. The situation has led to a widespread panic in the Russian armed forces, and this panic atmosphere adversely affecting the situation on the front line, causing Russian soldiers to make more mistakes as a result of the decisions taken in panic. The big mistakes made by the Russian armed forces one after the another caused both heavy losses to the Russian army and serious damage to the Russian economy. It is well known the fact that the waging war requires a strong economy, especially in the today's world the absence of the strong economy threatens the sustainability of the war, because without a strong economy, a state of the art of weapons, fighter jets and other high-tech products cannot be produced and put on the market. And this is where the importance of the strong economy becomes apparent. And the Russian Federation is facing serious economic difficulties as a result of the economic sanctions imposed since the beginning of the war. Increasing war costs and losses are exacerbating this economic pressure. In recent days, it is known that the Russian Air Force lost another fighter jet in the Crimean Peninsula. However, it was not limited to this loss. According to the allegations, there was another Russian fighter jet shut down and uh, by the Russian air defense system. Systems. So, according to the allegations put forward by local sources, in the early hours of the morning, an Su-27 model fighter jet on the Russian armed forces was hit by one of the interceptor missiles fired by the Russian air defense systems near Sevastopol, and quickly lost altitude and fell into the Black Sea. Following this incident, the following statements were made by the Ukrainian armed forces sources. Our hopes for the occupied Crimean Peninsula are growing every day. The enemy forces in the region have lost control and they don't know exactly what they are doing and what to do. This causes them to make more mistakes in the operations and a strong resistance of our troops on the battlefield so far have led to a complete collapse of the enemy. And the occupying enemy forces have lost the ability to distinguish. We will definitely reach the Crimean Peninsula and the enemy agrees with us on this. They are cooperating with us in order for us to reach the Crimean Peninsula faster. We confirm that the Russian warplane that crashed on the Crimean Peninsula belongs to the Russian Federation and was destroyed by its own forces. They were on alert and they were in combat readiness. The human factor was at work and once the operator was so eager to get a medal that he didn't bother to find out whose plane is that. So they don't have real heroes and never real, but seeing our heroes, they have a great desire to become heroes. This enthusiasm of the enemy has no foundation and therefore this enthusiasm causes them to make many mistakes. We appeal to all the enemy soldiers who want to be heroes on the Crimean Peninsula because please fulfill these air aspirations. Let the whole world understand what it means not to be a hero and let the whole world realize the difference between real heroes and fake heroes. 
So it is seen that the statements from the Ukrainian sources, together with the successive mistakes made by the administration of the Russian Federation and the Russian Armed Forces, have encouraged the Ukrainian Armed Forces and sources. This situation is considered to have serious implications. As mentioned earlier, war is won not only in the front, but at the table and in the mines. And in this respect, the statements made by the Ukrainian sources can be considered as a part of the war of mines. So in recent days, the losses of the Russian Air Force has increased significantly as a result of the attacks of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. According to the information available over the past two months, the Russian side has suffered particularly heavy losses and losing more than a dozen fighter aircraft, including Su-34 fighter bombers and Su-35 fighter jets and the rare A-50 military spy plane. This is a serious and worrying situation for the fighting army. And these losses are expected to increase in the coming days, but the Russian leadership seems to be silent on this issue. The general silence of the President of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, and the leadership of the Russian Federation is very disturbing to the ultra-Russian nationalists and war supporters. Indeed, the, the administration of the Russian Federation prefers to remain remarkably silent as it struggle with the increasing casualties day by day. This silence arouses curiosity throughout Russia, but why Putin is silent raises a question mark in the minds of many people. So, of course, there may be big reasons behind the silence. However, one of the most important factors may be the guilt psychology. Because Vladimir Putin, the president of the Russian Federation, has created a prolonged crisis environment in Eastern Europe with the war he started. Moreover, while creating this crisis environment, he made great promises to the Russian citizens, but none of these promises were realized. Therefore, Putin may be trying to hide his mistakes by remaining silent in this chaotic environment. However, this attempt seems unlikely. So, what do you think? How do you think the failures in the Russian air defense systems could affect the future of the war? What role can Russian air defense systems play in determining the course of the war? And how do you assess the situation on the Ukraine's Crimean Peninsula? And what do you think about the reasons for the disruption in Russia's air defense systems? What impact do the weaknesses in the Russian air defense systems have on Ukraine's defense strategy? Let me know in the comments because I care and I read all of your comments.